That's right! It's another one of these, boys, okay? If you thought I was gonna stop doing them, you're dumb. We've got only, like, what, five matches, I think? It's not really a whole lot. Does it have to be that much? I don't really know. I recently just got done watching the OSW review of NXT TakeOver of Dallas, I think, and it was five matches. So I was like, okay, so it's a thing. So I didn't really say too much about it. It's Friday at the time of this recording. SmackDown is still not aired yet. And I don't necessarily know if they are going to put like a last minute match on there. So if they do, whatever, just just think of me, okay, in the ether and just pretend that I put it in this or whatever, because I don't feel like waiting, all right? Also, if I miss, like, one match, is it really the end of the world if I miss, like, one match? First match is Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory for the United States Championship. I don't know, because it 100% could just be Bobby Lashley, but I just think that's because Bobby Lashley is just, like, really, you know what I'm saying? Rollins and Theory are going to work together, and they're going to beat the shit out of Lashley, and then Lashley's going to get taken out, or Lashley could just win, but it just sort of seems convoluted for Rollins to get the championship from him after... Lesnar like messed him up because that's how uh, Rollins ended up getting the championship right was uh, Lesnar came in and he beat up uh, Lashley and then Rollins ended up winning and then the whole thing with Theory you know what I mean and then Theory lost a briefcase because of Bobby Lashley and now it's a triple threat match so I really I I think Theory's gonna win I think Theory's gonna win I feel like it makes sense because he lost the money in the brain uh, briefcase so to not give it to Theory would kind of be dumb because then what is Theory going to do? You know what I mean? Like, he's kind of just going to be floating around in the ether. Bobby, I feel like you could just give him the gimmick of, well, I'm just going to tear everyone in half. And if Rollins retains, listen, if he retains, great. That's good for his stock, but, you know, let's give it to somebody else, eh? Next is AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. I think Styles is winning this one. I think it's going to be interferences out the wazoo. Did anybody see that TikTok? Oh, Rey Mysterio. No, it was a YouTube short. Oh, Rey Mysterio just getting fucked up at the Thanksgiving dinner by uh, Rhea and Dominic. That was great, man. I love wrestling. He called Rhea a bitch, man. I love that they bleeped it out. Wrestling is amazing, man. It's great. Yeah, I think Styles is going to win this one. I think it's just going to be interferences all over the place, and I think it's going to be like one last big interference, and then Styles is going to hit the Styles Clash, and then he's going to win. There's not really much to say about that one. I just think that that's exactly what's going to happen. Next is Ronda Rousey versus Shotzi for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm more than certain Ronda Rousey is going to win. It would be a wonderful upset if Shotzi did actually win the Women's Championship, and and it would be well deserved, but I think that Ronda Rousey is going to win this one. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I know that it's more than likely going to be Ronda Rousey doing the submission, and then Shotzi will tap out. So it's it's going to Ronda Rousey, isn't it? Next is Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Mia Yim, and potentially Becky Lynch, but we don't know yet, versus Damage Control, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley in the War Games match. Ooh, who's going to win? Is it going to be the heels or is it going to be the faces? I think it's going to be the faces because of the to be announced thing. I think the faces are going to pick this one up because Becky Lynch is going to make a surprise return. Although they could swear. You never know. You never. You have no idea. You have no idea. I would love it if Becky Lynch returned and they just absolutely floored her. They saw her returning. Wow, okay, give me your arm. Give me it. You know, like, <laughs> I'm going to rip it off this time. And then they ended up winning. I would love that. But I think because they are using the surprise factor to the faces' advantage, I think the faces are going to pick this one up. So I've got the faces winning this one. And finally, it is the bloodline. Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, the Usos, and Sonda Sokoa versus Sheamus, McIntyre, the Brawling Boots, and the Brawling Boots. Yeah, so... It's just gonna be the boots in the ring. Can you imagine? His match starts with the boots. Everyone just, just kicks them. <laughs> Kevin's like looking around like, wait, wait a second, man, hold on. <laughs> that would be, man, that would be funny. But no, uh, Brawling Brutes and Kevin Owens. I think it's going to be the Bloodline winning this one, to be honest with you. I really do. I think the Bloodline's gonna win this. I think it's gonna be very close. Very, very close. But I think... Or no, I mean, if there's... Who's, who's gonna... Who's, okay, who's gonna eat the pin? If there's anyone who's gonna eat the pin... On the heels team, it's going to be Sammy. And if it's anyone who's going to eat the pin on the faces team, it's going to be Drew. No. Yeah. Drew seems like the, the most, like, notable one to eat the pin. But who's going to win? I feel like it's probably going to be... I want to say the bloodline. I'm just going to say the bloodline because I, I, I don't see the faces winning. They could win, there, but I'm trying to think, like, how are they going to win? What's the big shock factor? Because it would have to be Zami Zayn turning on the bloodline because how else are they going to win? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great, okay? The match is going to be absolutely fantastic. There's going to be spots out the wazoo. It's going to be absolutely off the chain, okay? In terms of who's actually going to come away with the win, I do genuinely think that it's going to be the bloodline. 
And, I mean, it's got to be either McIntyre or Owens taking the pin, you know? So, who do we got? All right. So, we have... I have Theory winning the U.S. Championship. I've got Styles beating Balor. I've got Rousey retaining the Women's Championship. I've got the Faces team winning just because I feel like Becky Lynch is going to be the surprise. And then everyone's going to be like, whoa! And then Becky Lynch is going to be like, yeah, that's right. And then she reveals that her arm isn't actually real. It's prosthetic. And then she just beats everybody up with it. So that's what I... That's my full-on prediction. I fully 100% think that that's going to happen. Becky Lynch is going to come in tear her own arm off and then beat up beat people up with it and i think the bloodline is gonna win because i just i don't it just seems like a like something that's gonna happen i just you know whatever who cares just just give them a, a win you know what i'm saying as always put your comments down below who you think is gonna win and why you think they're gonna win and you know if you don't agree with me again put your comments down below and let me have it all right i'm a i'm a, I'm a big boy all right i bruise like a peach okay but i don't i wouldn't let you know that all right so boys that's gonna do it for this episode i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode because i certainly enjoyed making it and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one